We'd like to welcome in our third member of our broadcast crew. It is Brian Cook, set on the sidelines, and he's uh, got a few things to tell us. Brian, you ready? I am. I am. Thank you. I want to first welcome Mindy Y to Brownsburg. It's a great honor to be able to do this. Now, I don't know if you've seen, Brownsburg's got one of the most spirited student sections here in the state and in the conference. And tonight is no different. Tonight's theme is pink. And as you can see, not only are the students wearing pink, but also the players. I was told that the players are wearing pink shoelaces, pink wristbands, pink chin straps, pink anything that they can get pink. And that's all to bring awareness to the uh, Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation. It's a great, great, great foundation, great foundation. Hope to be uh, back here, back to you guys up in the booth. All right, Brian, thank you very much. A lot of pink on the high school sidelines. We saw it a lot of the NFL all month long. On Let's get back down to the field with Brian Cook. Brian. Thanks, guys. I talked to Coach Pelly actually Thursday, and the one thing he said he wanted they wanted to establish early on was the pass. They said they knew they could run with five running backs on the team that can get carries. They said they knew that they, they, they could run, but they wanted to easily establish the pass. Thanks, guys. I'll send it right back up to you. Brian, thank you very much. Now let's get down to, onto the field with Brian Cook. Brian. Uh, thanks, guys. You've talked so highly about the defense. When I talked to Coach Comer this week, he actually told me that this is the fastest defense he's ever coached since beginning his career at Brownsburg. And he said probably one of the more intriguing matchups on the defensive side of the ball was the matchup with the offensive line. He said both compared to Ham schools like Hamlin Southeastern, Zionsville has a smaller squad that's almost the exact, si exact same size as Brownsburg. So that's the biggest matchup you'll probably want to watch tonight. Back up to you guys. Brian, thank you very much. The pass is... I think we've got things worked out. Brian Cook is on the sidelines. Brian, what do you got? Talk to, I talked to Coach Pelly about what was the uh, physical problem with Robbie Robbins, and he told me there was no problem. They just wanted to switch things up, and it's paying off for him. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Brian. Just as we assumed, Brian Cook's got some information for us on the sidelines. Brian. Tonight's uh, senior night for Brownsburg, and one of the interesting storylines of senior night is the fact that we actually have a pair of twins uh, for seniors. We have uh, Todd and Tori Nibs. Tori plays cornerback, and Todd pl also plays defense. So I talked to them today, and they actually said it's been a blast being able to play four years with each other. They've uh, really had grown as people, grown as players, and grown as brothers. So back up to you guys. Thank you. The sideline reports brought to you by Franklin College twins on this football team. And they both uh, played fairly well tonight. Brian Cook has some information down on the sidelines. Brian. One of the impact players for Brownsburg all year has been Chase Dutra, number 19 for Brownsburg. He's averaged about 42 yards per game and six touchdowns all season. So when Brownsburg's looking for reliable hands, they look no further than Chase Dutra. Back up to you guys. Thank you very much, Brian. Dutra's name has been called quite a bit tonight. Those sideline reports sponsored by Franklin College. Brian Cook doing a nice job, too, for us. For Chris, I got to say, our, our man on the, on the sideline, Brian Cook, fantastic job tonight. Good, very impressed. Good job. Pleasure to, to, to be with him tonight. You two as well. Good to be with you again. We'll be together again next week. Excited about the Carmel Ben Davis yeah, game. That'll be a dandy.